Good morning, or it's afternoon, what am I saying? But welcome back to a new vlog. This vlog, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to read this book, um, but this reading vlog is about Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Thank you so much to, I'll put the publisher on the screen, and also thank you so much to, is it Hear Our Voices? Why can't I like not remember anything when the camera is rolling? But long story short, I am part of a book tour for Legendborn and on top of me giving my written review, I'm also going to do a reading vlog, which is why this is happening. I started Legendborn last night before I went to bed. It is, it is, what day is it? It's Monday, August 20 what? 24th. So I started it yesterday. I only read the prologue and I mean, wow. When I tell you that prologue was incredible, I felt gutted and I was not expecting to feel all of those emotions in just the prologue and basically what Legendborn is it's a urban fantasy retelling featuring a black girl and I'm actually gonna like move over so that when I edit I can put the cover right here um and yeah based on the Arthurian legend she goes to the school I believe uh, well her mother's passed that's like the beginning of the book is her dealing with that or her dealing with like finding that out. Um, and so, you know, three months later, she's dealing with that grief. She goes to this school and there's these demons who are feeding off of human energy. And there's this person who calls himself Merlin. And then there's the uh, this group of people called Legendborns, apparently. I'm getting all of this from the Goodreads synopsis, by the way, that I read like two hours ago. Um but she's not supposed to be able to see them and someone I think tries to like wipe her memory or something like that. I don't know. Again, I've only read the prologue. So I'm very excited to like dive in. The writing in the prologue was absolutely beautiful. And I honestly, I might just read it again. Like read the, <laughs> it's, it's like, I was just so stunned by how amazing that prologue was. Like you don't usually find a prologue that immediately is just like, <clears throat> here's my entire soul and so i was like all right cool so i probably will read the prologue again uh, and maybe perhaps take a little bit more detailed notes but that is the goal of this reading vlog i'm also like kind of in the middle of another one that i put on pause for this one okay now her sister's bothering her yeah i have class today my last class actually for this quarter. Uh, I got a project I have to work on that is due on Wednesday. I have a bunch of books I want to read before the end of the month because I am behind on my monthly goal of 10 books. I've only read seven this only but for me like I like to get to 10. I've read seven books this month and so I have quite a few that I want to finish up and if I finish up all the books that I plan to read and finish this week that'll put me at 11 which is not bad at all. I am going to go upstairs and take an Instagram photo. It is Monday, so I need to, I need to take my weekly TBR photo for Instagram. I'm going to make myself some iced coffee, and I'm also going to make myself a grilled cheese. Because that's what I'm in the mood for. And I will take you with me. <laughs> tripod that I got and oh speaking of tripods I got a new one for my like non-vlog videos so my DSLR camera uh and it came with a ring light and that is absolutely amazing progress on Legendborn I made none I know in the last clip I was like I'm going to start the book over it just hasn't happened yet um I'm currently reading when there were what apparently reading when no one is watching really enjoying it so maybe 
<sighs> I don't know. There's just so many books and so little time. But I promise in the next clip, hopefully, maybe, I will have an update on Legendborn for you. But I also just want to test out this new tripod that I bought on a whim from Best Buy. Remember that? Okay, man, be quiet. You remember that time where I was like, I'll update you when I reach the 25% mark? Yeah, I'm at the 50% mark of Legendborn. Um, don't mind the hair, because this is how it grows up my head. Also, my head hurts, because I've had it in a puff all day. Um, I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it so far. I will say the first 25%. I just for some reason couldn't get into it. I don't know what that was about, but I found myself being like, okay, let's pick up the pace. But after the 25%, see, you can even see the indent where like the puff holder was. After the 25% mark, it picked up, like really picked up. And so I feel like some of that first, cause it's like 500 and something pages. So some of that first 100 pages that I read could have not been there in my opinion. Obviously, this is my opinion. I'm not even going to say that. Um, could have just, like, not been there. I... There's this whole, like, confrontation with her best friend, Alice, that I feel is a bit irrelevant because it's solved fairly quickly. Not fairly quickly, but it is just, I guess for me... Alice was acting very annoying and very just bleh and at the beginning of the book right so they get into and Alice I, I think I said Alice is best friend so they get into this little this little argument or whatever and Alice is acting really annoying that's the nicest way I could put it and for me we don't know Alice well enough to care about Alice being annoying or to even feel hurt by the fact that Alice is just being a really sucky friend towards Brie. And I feel like that confrontation or plot device could have happened later on in the book for a bigger impact after we've already gotten to know Alice. You know what I mean? I like the fact that Alice is in the book because she grounds Brie in reality because she does not well at the point I'm at she doesn't know about the order of the round table and all of that god I really hope I've given an explanation of the book at the beginning of the vlog because I started this so long ago and I honestly don't remember if I did that but she helps ground her in reality so I like Alice I think I like Alice's presence in the book and her purpose in the book I just don't like the character of Alice in the beginning of the book because of how she treats Brie and I think we should have gotten to know Alice a little bit more for them to then have that confrontation those are my thoughts on Alice. I'm liking the romance, you know, really liking the romance. It kind of came out, I don't, it did not come out of nowhere. There's hints at it. I guess I like how it's not this tortured kind of romance, at least at the point I'm at, because so many other things are kind of going wrong, and I like that it's not a tortured romance. I don't know if that made any sense. It does in my head, so we're going with it. What else do I enjoy? Oh, I enjoy, uh, I don't want this to be a spoiler, but there's multiple types of magic in this world. And I'm enjoying the exploration and discussion of the different types of magic. I'm interested in seeing where it's going. I don't really know how much more of an update I can give after this point. Of course I will, because like, it's a fantasy book and I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. This is a spoiler free reading vlog. But those are my thoughts so far. It really picks up. Like, I wasn't prompted to pick it up in the first 25%, like I said before. But now that I'm past that, I want to know what happens. I'm picking the book up. And I'm just so excited to have a finished copy. I pre-ordered it. And I also think I'm getting a copy from the publisher because I'm on the Instagram tour. So I'll have two copies that I'm actually going to give to someone. Uh, because they're interested in the book. So that's fun i don't know i also had an idea today for a year-long 
James Baldwin read read along for 2021. So I'm kind of I've been thinking about that, you know, laying the groundwork for that. I literally thought of that today. So that'll be fun. If you're interested in that, check out my socials in the upcoming weeks as I put that together. If you're interested in co-hosting with me for a particular book, let me know. And I'm just feeling really motivated about 2021 for booking it with Atia, specifically this channel, but also hopefully my blog. I'm excited. I don't necessarily know yet what my reading goal is going to be for 2021. I think I might just keep it at 120, which is the goal I had for 2020 uh, that I will meet because it's the beginning of September and I've completed on September 6th, I've completed 100... 111 books so I'm going to reach my goal and I could yeah I'm gonna reach my goal I'm really excited about that so yeah that's really this clip is so long so we're gonna end it here and the clip not the vlog obviously and I'm going to probably watch YouTube right now and then I definitely will be reading hopefully quite a bit more don't know if it'll be in Legendborn or if it'll be in some other books that I'm also reading at the moment Okay, <laughs> I just finished Legendborn, like just finished it, like put it down 30 seconds ago and I know, I know, I've been horrible at updating you because honestly it just grabbed my attention and never let it go. I don't even, what is this doing? I just, so much happened. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this book. Um, oh my goodness. I guess I should probably write out my thoughts first for my review and then come and talk to you. Uh, I'm not scheduled to do a video review of this for any tours, but I think I'll do one like just for my channel because there's so much here. Um, and I, oh my god, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't. <sighs> I mean, okay, first of all, let's talk about Tracy Dion's writing. Um, superb, splendid, fabulous. I had qualms about the first 25%, you know, kind of like dragging along. But like, besides that, even within that, it's beautiful writing I mean she knows how to just weave sentences and words together and stack them on top of it like I figured this is making absolutely no sense I'm I'm rambling but can you even see me hold on let me get some light there we go it's just it's beautiful writing it's beautiful language I think that's what it was I loved her use of language, her mastery over language. There were so many times where I felt just emotional. The way she built up, she built up to moments. The way that she is able to paint a picture without giving you all the information. I mean, there were so many plot twists, especially in the last like 30% of the book that I did not see coming at all like I just did not I did not see them coming and then they happened and I was just like and I think what it is and what I really appreciate it is that for some of the plot twists they're I guess you can say debunked in the beginning if you will be and oh man, it's <laughs> I feel like I can't even say too much because I don't want to even remotely spoil you for anything that happens in this book. I loved and adored the magic system. This was one of the most inventive, creative, surprising magic systems. There's more than one that I've ever encountered in a fantasy and I just and there's there's so many layers to it there it's so compact and just complex but at the same time i didn't spend you know half the book being confused about things she gives you the right amount of information at the right times and it keeps you reading the pacing is incredible again ignoring what i said before but after that point it just takes off 
there's a romance, there is, but it wasn't drawn out and torturous. You know, like sometimes you get a, a fantasy romance and it's like, for some reason we can't be together and they make up problems for themselves. I hate that. That didn't happen in this book. They were very much like, yeah, cool, we're interested in one another and like, this is just what it is. And if y'all wanna be racist about it, then y'all can be racist about it and it just what it is you know what i mean but even like the obstacle that the couple brie and her love interest are going to face in the coming book the one that i'm predicting is going to be the obstacle makes sense because it literally cannot be helped i need the sequel now i need today okay that's when i need it i just i i'm in shock like <laughs> I need to collect my thoughts um yeah that's all I have to say I need to collect my thoughts I am so excited to get a finished copy in my hand um I was told that my copy from the publisher is going to be arriving tomorrow today's Labor Day it's Monday Monday September 7th I was told it was should be arriving tomorrow and then I also pre-ordered a copy like I said I'm giving one of those copies away but I am so excited to get a finished copy and just go in and annotate the heck out of it. There are so many passages that are just so beautiful. I don't think I'll ever stop raving about this woman's writing. I just, I won't. And now I'm like, I have like <laughs> a light layer of sweat because I'm just like, I'm hyped up and the fans not pointing to me so I'm just hot. And also, still never finished annotating this. I need to. Maybe I'll do that before I go to bed. Probably not. Let's be real. But yeah, I mean, wow. 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 I... Nah, wow. I just... Oh my goodness. I was not expecting... And you know what I also appreciate? I also appreciate the fact that there are some people in this book that you meet in the beginning and are with you the entire novel and sis is gonna kill them off like <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you who i did not expect so many deaths um i'm trying to like count them in my head now okay yeah i just i don't think i expected any death honestly even though there are so many fight scenes against these demons because they all make it out in the beginning i did not expect and they come at the most unexpected times and the most unexpected circumstances wow. wow 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 i need to like write out my thoughts for this immediately i did not expect this clip to be that long so let me fix my fan so it's facing me rate this write my thoughts out and then um get back to you and we'll close out this vlog. <laughs> what the hell? I finally collected my thoughts about Legend Born, so I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. And then I need to, there we go. Then I need to edit this vlog. Yeah, I said so much of this, but basically, I really appreciated how Tracy Dion weaves in the Arthurian legend into the story. I think it's a very, unique take on the story on the lore if you will it's very original and it's also so current and it deals with and it talks about how the ideas of legacies and legends and being groomed and brought into something can be so exclusive and exclusionary to so many different types of people even just like thinking outside of just race but particularly with race in this story because the legend born society it's a bunch of white people it's a bunch of white people in the south they set up these chapters they have their children there's a lot of influence and there's a lot of wealthy people who aren't necessarily doing the deeds of the knights of the round table but they're funding them and honestly I got KKK vibes, I'm not gonna lie. Not in a, we're promoting the KKK, but very much in the sense of like, what's the difference between these two things that I'm talking about? Because even though they're not a racist society, the legend born, Brie goes into this situation and they, a lot of them, treat her like this outsider. 
because she does not look like what they think a legend born should look like and you have so many of these kids who aren't from particular families but they're white right so they can just be there and no one's going to question that they belong but you have brie who is obviously a black girl i mean i'm talking dark skin big hair my pre-order came days early and i'm living for it she so obviously does not fit their version of what a legend born is and i just i love this book so much so so much i have to go back and annotate it i'm waiting for my copy from the publisher because i was promised a copy from the publisher to decide which copy i'm going to annotate and which copy i'm going to give my partner but this is just like I just loved it. And oh, what I really also appreciated was the inclusion of therapy. Um, as I probably mentioned, Brie is grieving her mother who dies or who died three months prior or three months before the book starts or well, it happens in the prologue, but you know that her mother dies before going into it. And she starts seeing a therapist on campus. And I love that inclusion. I love when we see black youth being encouraged to seek out therapy especially from their parents i love that her therapist she served two purposes she was helping her unpack this grief but she was also helping her unpack her past and and see far not far back but like just see why she was doing the thing she was doing really unpacking a lot of that and that was kind of like a double meaning i don't want to give too much away but I love the use of the therapy. Uh, I think Alice was a great character to ground Brie in reality. I, f I definitely have talked about how I feel like their conflict in the beginning of the book was kind of pointless uh, because you don't know Alice at that point, so you just think she's being annoying. But I do think that she's an important and crucial character for Brie and Brie's development. I enjoyed the romance. I felt that it was the right amount of cute and solid and I'm, I'm looking forward to the sequel it's such a cliffhanger and the ending is so beautiful i love full circle endings and what i really appreciate is how she gave us a full circle ending but also a cliffhanger ending because there's going to be at least another book i don't know if this is a trilogy or a duology or like a longer series i don't know but it was just a perfect ending and i loved the writing I just there were so many moments of beautiful poetic writing and the way she writes certain moments is like she's building on top she's layering her writing I wish I could explain it better but it's just I rarely cry with books movies sure tv shows sure books not so much so you really have to be doing some beautiful writing to garner an emotional response from me. And I had several moments of emotional responses to Legend Born, just in terms of the writing and Breeze dealing with her grief, but also just how relatable she was as a black girl, how relatable it was seeing her be in this predominantly white environment and those little microaggressions that you hear every day that people don't even realize are microaggressions and there's a line in the book where she's you know recollecting something that her dad says about microaggressions how it's a death it's death by a thousand cuts and how these comments bother her and she she addresses that they bother her and why they bother her and She's strong, but not strong in the sense that she ignores her problems. She's strong in the sense that she recognizes that there is so much history. There is so much perseverance in her bloodline, in her culture, in her race. She's strong in the fact that she suffered this tremendous loss. And she gets back up, but she gets back up because the other people around her, her support system was so strong. I'm talking her therapist, I'm talking her father, I'm talking her best friend. And I just loved it. And it was full of black girl magic and an appreciation of black girls and black women. And I just, <sighs> it's incredible. Everyone should go buy it. By the time you're seeing this, because this vlog is going up on September 15th, which is release day, please go buy it and read it. 
and read it again if you need to. But this is one of my favorite books of 2020. And I say that with complete certainty because we're in September, halfway through September. Um, and I just, I love this. I need to start making my favorites of 2020 list because I do want to do that video. And right off the bat, there are two books that come to mind. Tristan Strong, Punches a Hole in the Sky, and Legendborn. I don't care that video is only about two books, but this book is going to be on that list. And I need everyone to go get it. And I need everyone to read it because it is absolutely freaking phenomenal. I gave it five stars, hands down, no regrets, no questions. I, and even as I think about it more and more, and I read other people's reviews and responses, it has remained a four, a five star read. I don't know what else to say. Like I feel, I don't know what else to say besides go buy the book. And I will, I've already actually written my review on my blog where I'm gonna go more in depth into my thoughts. But if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know down below what are some other books you might want me to do a reading vlog for. Um, there's, yeah, I don't even know how we would do that, but give a huge thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that and click the notification bell. Check out all of my social media, which is in the description box below. Check out my Depop shop, my bookshop.org link, my Libro FM link. What else? Oh, and if you made it this far in the vlog, I thank you so much. And you can leave a sword or shield emoji or just the word sword or shield and i will see you in the next video bye i ain't living for the moment i see what's mine and i want it hungry like a pac-man like bruce wayne a batman i'm naruto with a hanzo got a sharp mind like i'm my style copyright so it's all mine check it for me i'm in the sky